Welcome to the channel. In this mini series, we're going to be designing 3D printing and flying a modular fixed wing UAV. Mostly made out of readily available and affordable materials, I took it upon myself to put together a cool looking foamy plane that I actually managed to get in the air. In this video, you'll see all four maidens. The reason I started building this airplane is because I was tired of standing outside in the winter months and freezing my fingers off while I tried to fly my planes. I wanted a plane with landing gear and of course a way to steer it on the ground, an FPV camera and a full-fledged autopilot capable of auto takeoff and landing. So I can sit in my car and sip on my coffee while I monitor my ground control station next to me. And I'm happy to say that today we're one step closer to that goal. Here you have the X-Hawk. It's got an airspeed sensor, tricycle style landing gear with nose wheel steering, 4200 milliamp hour 4S battery, walk snail digital FPV system with OSD, two position flaps, full Mavlink telemetry, TBS crossfire transmitter and receiver. I think it's a 900 kV motor spinning a 12 by 6 prop connected to a 60 amp ESC and the brains of it all, the Pixhawk cube orange on an ADSB carrier board. The design is really quite simple. It consists of two carbon fiber rods running down the length of the fuselage where 3D printed attachments such as the nose, tail, and battery holder slide into. Then a foam outer covering or fuselage slides over the 3D printed inserts and is secured by the tail cone and nose cone with M2 pan head screws going through the plastic and carbon fiber rod, therefore making it secure, easily removable, as well as customizable. So here we are at the field, uh, local park by my house, and uh, just doing a bit of, bit of taxiing, making sure the nose wheel is working all right. It was a beautiful evening to fly, and I was just making sure all systems were okay. As you can probably tell, I was terrified to get this thing in the air. It weighed about, I think it was about three pounds all up, you know, with, with everything on it. Um, so I was, you know, I. I'm no professional by any means and I hardly know what I'm doing so I'm just testing. Uh, I was very hesitant to, to get it up in the air. And by the way, for those of you who are wondering where my accent's from, I have no idea. My dad's English and my mom's from uh, Nicaragua, which is in Central America for those of you who don't know. I think it's probably a combination of both, but a bit of a mutt. Anyhow. Just uh, getting ready here for the first takeoff. Okay, here we go. And boy, it's a good looking airplane, isn't it? So here it is. This is uh, the first Maiden, I guess you could call it. Oh no! And yeah. What happened? Pretty, pretty sad, honestly. Oh, it was running so good. It was a pretty pretty short flight, obviously, and uh, I'm not sure what what happened. I, maybe the CG was too far forward, but I, I remember double checking it, so it it should have been just right. But thankfully, there wasn't that much damage. Just the nose wheel uh, sort of collapsed on itself. Of course, I was pretty worried about the nose and especially the uh, the airspeed sensor there, but uh, that seems to all have survived. So. Sure. I brought it back to the car. I tried to straighten out the nose wheel and uh, well, I think we should fly this thing anyway. Let's just say I didn't have uh, one of the bright more I didn't have the brightest idea after that. I thought to myself, well, maybe I could just throw it and then the landing would just be a sort of a controlled crash, but this is how that went. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty sad day. It was uh, ultimately a failure. But thankfully, it wasn't all doom and gloom. I went back home, I fixed it up, and here we are again on a more beautiful day. And uh, got it all working again. I had to uh, change the nose wheel steering what it is, it's a metal wire going through a carbon fiber rod with some 3D printed attachments. And uh, I put a square tube over it now, so it should be a little bit more rigid. Here I'm uh, practicing or testing out the pan mechanism for the 
FPV camera. So it's uh, pretty exciting to see the wing there, and you could, I guess, you could say you could avoid obstacles and you know make sure you have clearance on your wings when you're taxiing around. But it definitely adds a another degree of of realism when you're sitting somewhere remotely and and you can control this thing and look around. It's it's pretty amazing. And here you have it, the first actual, well I guess this would be the second, wouldn't it? But there she goes. She's in the air for more than two seconds and she's doing beautiful. Oh, it was so exhilarating. The turn was beautiful, everything was working as it should. Of course, I forgot to hit record on the FPV camera, but everything went sideways right around there. Yeah, so what ended up happening was the button that I put on it to turn it on and off couldn't handle the power and the uh, the wires kind of uh, melted so not to worry though this time it was completely destroyed I had to rebuild it quite a bit and I obviously took off the button here we are at another field with much more uh, much more clearance and not so not that active of a road and this time it's back up in the air and I was pretty confident it was going to stay in the air because it was a standard, uh, you know, airplane setup with the uh, cube orange and all the electronics inside. I double checked all my connections and it sure did pay off. So here we are just doing a few circuits around around the park. I made sure to stay away from any active roads, although I guess I did get pretty close there. <laughs> and this was truly the first time I managed to get it up in the air and make it stay there. It was, it was flying beautifully. Here you can see the, uh, the pan mechanism. Isn't that beautiful? You can see the wings. Maybe one day we'll get them to flex. I do have plans to make uh, different kind of wings that are kind of interchangeable with those that are on there right now. But those are basically just made out of foam board. I got a little too close there to this. Uh, I don't know what it is, but definitely got a little scared. But anyways, the uh, wings, I am planning on, on making some uh, 3D printed ribs and then sliding in some, some carbon fiber uh, rods going across it and then kind of heat shrinking it with that uh, with the stuff that they use for like uh, you know hobby builds of, uh, of out of made out of balsa and that kind of thing and it'll be much more intricate here I am trying to trying to get it on the ground I thread all the trees and I nailed the landing look at that look at that suspension look at that bounce oh boy I was ecstatic at this point That was the first time I got it in the air and got it on the ground in one piece. And here we go again. Oh, it was a beautiful day. Look at the colors of the trees. I was like a kid in a candy store that day. Made sure to get some, uh, some good views of the changing leaves of the trees. And really, at this point, I was just kind of enjoying myself, practicing my landings, and uh, I did run an auto-tune on it at one point, which helped kind of calibrate the, uh, the PIDs on the autopilot to make sure it doesn't overcorrect or undercorrect. And here I am coming in for another landing. I noticed that the landing roll is pretty short, so I just figured I'd go over the trees instead of trying to cut through them. I didn't think I was going to hit any cars, but uh, unfortunately... This landing didn't go so well. Still not bad. I need to do some work on the uh, the landing gear. Kind of ended up just like that. But uh, we've got big plans for this thing. We're gonna throw maybe some uh, something like this on it at one point, you know. Uh, and like I said, I'm, uh, the the wings we're gonna we're gonna change those up. We're gonna add. It does have flaps. I, I suppose this one did have flaps, but uh, we're gonna do a little bit more intricate of a design. Um, and uh, we'll see if, uh, if we can get it to perform any better. Anyways, stay tuned for episode number two.
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.